Good morning! Welcome to our new lesson in science. Are you ready for today's activity? Do you have your self-learning module and ISN? Today, you will describe changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. In our previous lesson, we have learned that some materials are porous and others are non-porous. Materials such as tissue paper, handkerchief, towel, and paper bags are example of porous materials. These materials have small and tiny holes that allow air and water to pass through it. These materials absorb water. There are also some materials that do not absorb water such as raincoat, boots, umbrella, plastic. Those materials are non-porous. They, they do not have small, tiny holes that allow water and air to pass through. These materials are waterproof. They do not have holes to let the water in. We have also learned that materials with loosely packed molecules will float, while materials with tightly packed molecules will sink. Everything is made up of molecules. When the materials is made up of loosely packed molecules, then it will float. While if that material is made up of tightly packed molecules, will sink. The shape also of an object will make its ability to float. When an object have the ability to hold air, it will float because air is less dense than the water. That's why that object will float. Matter is anything that occupies space. It also has volume and mass. It comes in different forms such as solid, liquid, gas. Okay, observe this picture. In what state of matter are these materials? Can you name observable characteristics of marble, blackboard, crayon, and hollow blocks? Materials have different characteristics or properties like size, shape, color, odor, and texture. But these properties of solid materials can be changed by pressing and bending. Bending means to force an object from a straight form into a curve or angular one, while pressing is applying force to flatten or smoothen the object. To further enhance our understanding about bending, let us perform activity number one, Bend Me. These are the materials needed for activity one, Bend Me, on page four of your module. First is plastic straw, metal fork, plastic ruler, wire, and bamboo stick. Okay, let's bend it one by one. When we say bending, it means to force an object from a straight form into a curve or angular one. Okay, these materials can be bent. Let's try this straw, this plastic straw. When we apply force in this plastic straw, again, the size and shape may change. But no new material is firm. Only the physical appearance changes. Next is this wire. Okay, let's apply force in this wire. Ayan. When we apply force in this wire, from straight, it turns into a curb uh, form. Ayan curve when we apply force this wire changes its size and shape and its physical appearance next is this fork or metal fork 
but you should not bend plastic fork kasi it may be broken but this metal fork can be bent ayan when we bend the size the shape the physical appearance changes but no new material is formed how about this plastic ruler plastic ruler can also be bent Ayan, you can turn it into curve. Ayan, but when you release it, it will turn into its same appearance. But this plastic ruler can be curved. Some plastic ruler, when you, especially those plastic that are brittle, when you... Uh, Applied force, it may be break or broken. Okay, another one is this uh, bamboo stick. Bamboo stick also can be curved. Ayan. Can be bent. When you bend, it will turn from straight form into a curved one. Ayan. Okay. You can now record your observation on the observation table on page 4 of your module. Now, to further deepen our understanding about the lesson, let's try to answer the guide questions. 1. Describe the solid materials before bending. 2. Describe the appearance of plastic straw and the rest of the materials after bending. 3. What properties of the solid materials changed after bending? And number four, what did you apply to bend the solid materials? Okay, do you get all the numbers right? Good, let us now proceed to activity number two. Impress me. These are the materials needed. Plastic or paper cup. Pandesal. Banana, a pillow, and wrinkled cloth. We will use this heavy empty cup to press each of these materials. Okay, first is this pillow. Observe this pillow. The, the place where there is pressure is thinner than the part where there is no pressure. Okay, next is this paper cup. Let's apply pressure to this paper cup. Okay, after applying pressure, the texture, the size, and shape change. Next is this pandesal okay let's observe this pandesal before applying pressure okay after applying pressure to the pandesal what happened it become Thinner, thin. Next is this banana. What will happen to this banana when we apply pressure? Observe. Ayan. 
when we apply pressure to the banana, the shape, texture, changes. Okay. Wrinkled cloth when pressed with hot iron will change from being wrinkled into smooth and fine texture. Now, record your findings on the observation table. What is the physical characteristics of paper cup, pandesal, banana, pillow, and wrinkled cloth before pressing? What are the changes in the materials after pressing? by applying pressure for example dough when pressed will become smooth and flat this is called pressing can you name at least three solid materials that can be pressed very good clay pillow and rice cake are materials that can be pressed okay let us now go on to answer the guide questions Number one, what changes happened in the paper cup and other solid materials after pressing? Two, is there a new solid material formed? And number three, what characteristics of solids were shown in the activity? Bending and pressing can be useful to us in many ways. Steel is bent to form posts and beams in building bridges and houses. The process of pressing is used in accomplishing household chores like ironing clothes, cooking, and cleaning our house. Bending uses force while pressing uses pressure. After performing all the activities, I know you are now ready to answer the post test. Enjoy learning!